El Palmar. The early beginnings of the village of El Palmar are not quite clear. Of all the existing versions, the most accepted one claims that it was the fishermen from the village of Rusafa who gradually settled on the island. The population started to grow, and as an interesting piece of trivia, we know that in 1874 there were 99 families, most of whom were engaged in fishing. Only a few worked the land. The most common type of dwelling in El Palmar was the Baraca, a typical A-frame cottage. In 1854, there were 65 cottages and a chapel. The following year, a fire literally blazed through the entire village. From this moment on, single-family bungalows started to be built. El Palmar was still an island well into the 1930s, when three bridges were built, connecting it with the motorway to Valencia. The entire life of El Palmar revolved around fishing in the Albufera, fishing nets, the local boats called Albuferencs, the fish market, the wharf, and not least, the community of fishermen, which is quite an institution on the island. In fact, until fairly recently, fishing was almost exclusively the only way to make a living in this village. Boro, a local fisherman and resident of Palmar, tells us about it. Ever since I was little, from the age of 11, I went fishing on the lake. And we were completely cut off. We were 20 kilometers away from a capital city and yet completely isolated. And that's what we did for a living, fishing and growing rice. Nowadays, El Palmar is still a typical village of the Albufera, although tourism and catering have taken over from fishing as its main economic activity.